objective of this video is to show you how the sheet options have an impact on the behavior of your report. To demonstrate some of the sheet options, we will build a report. Click on New Report, drag Product into the columns, and drag Entity into the rows. Press OK. What you see in the report will depend on what is in the context. For our report, we have Total Product as our Product Context member. The report is now showing Total Product and its children. The Entity Context member is World. The report is now showing the Entity Context member and its children. If you click the word Options, or if you use the down arrow and select Sheet Options, you will open the same window. The sheet options are broken down into four tabs. General, Formatting, Refresh and Protection. These options relate to all reports on the specific sheet, which means they can differ from one sheet to another. On the General tab, we have the following sections. Expand Options, Data Input, Member Recognition, Worksheet Type, Totals Placement, No Data and Zero Values and Comments. Let's look at each one in turn. The Expand Options are the settings related to drilling down the hierarchy by double-clicking on a parent or by using the Expand button. Currently, if we double-click on World, we will get Member and Children. However, if we make a different selection in the Expand option, for example Custom Expand, and then select Base Level, we can change the member shown when we are double-clicking or using the Expand button. Click OK. If we then return to the report, double-click on World twice, the first time to drill up and the second time to drill down again. You can now see that we have a different expansion list. If we tick Users Input Form, this will allow us to send data to the BPC server. When the Member Recognition feature is activated, the members are automatically recognized in a report. When the Local Member Recognition feature is activated, the Excel formulas are automatically converted into local members. The Member Recognition features can be activated or deactivated by sheet or for all sheets. If you have not activated the Member Recognition, you can launch it on an ad hoc basis at any time. Worksheet Type If you change the selection from EPM Worksheet to Excel Worksheet, you are not able to use any of the EPM functionality in your Excel sheet. Total Placement. This allows you to change where the totals are shown. By default, totals are displayed at the bottom of the row axis and on the right side of the column axis. Currently, we have Total Product on the right hand side if we change the total placements to the left and click on Refresh. You can see that Total Product has moved to the left-hand side. In the No Data and Zero Values section, it will allow you to suppress data, which means that on the reports it will only show the intersection where there is data. You can do this on the rows or columns or on both. The options give you the ability to either hide or remove the empty values. It is best to remove the empty values to speed up your report, as it is only bringing back the necessary rows and columns for your report. If you select Hide, then it will create the whole report, and then using the Excel Hide functionality, it will hide the rows. If we select Remove Empty and Zero Values on the rows, you can see when we refresh the report, certain rows will disappear. 
If at any point in the future there is data at the removed intersection, it will appear on the report without you making any changes. Comments allows you to see any comments in the system as Excel comments, which means you should be able to hover over the little red arrow and see your comments. On the formatting tab, we have row head indentation, which allows you to indent either on the children or parents, depending on the hierarchy. If we select no indentation, you can see how the rows are now lined up. If auto fit column width is selected, your columns will change in size, depending on the members selected. You can turn this off and then change the size of all columns. When you refresh, they will remain as you set them. On the Refresh tab, I will highlight a number of important options. Keep formula on data. If this option is not ticked and I enter a formula on the report, You can see that if I refresh, the formula will disappear. If I make the selection, enter a formula and refresh, you will then notice that the formula remains. Calculate parents in hierarchy will do subtotals based on the members shown on their report and not the data in the database. This is useful if you exclude a member from your report. On the Protection tab, you are able to set protection for your reports. If you are going to use protection, this method is preferable to Excel protection for BPC reports. You can protect an active sheet or protect workbook and enter in your chosen password twice. At this point, you could click OK and the protection would be turned on. You also have options which allow you to give users the ability to make changes so they can format cells or inset rows. Once you have the settings correct and wish to apply them to all of your BPC reports, you can click on Save as Default and these settings will be applied when you create a new report. You should now understand the main features of the Sheet Option dialog box and the impact they have on a report. I hope this tutorial has been helpful.